Okay, we'll go ahead and zoom in and we'll talk about these buttons down here on the bottom first. Okay, so this first button on the bottom left hand side, the blue one with the circle, that is the power button. If you hold the button down, it will shut the unit off. If you press it once, it will log you out of the system. Only reason to be logged out of the driver tech system is when you're on home time. Um, the red triangle button, that's emergency button. If you push that, it's going to give you a message that you have 15 seconds to cancel it. If you don't cancel the emergency button, it sends an emergency message to our safety department. The menu button will take you to the main screen with one push. The escape key takes you back one screen at a time until you get to the main menu. These four buttons here are directional keys. It's like using the tab key on your computer. It'll move you around from field to field in a macro. The delete key is also your backspace. and It will delete messages for you. The enter key brings up all of the macros. The keyboard button just toggles your keyboard on and off. And the white star button is not used. That's for a demonstration. The red light. Uh, flashes when you've got uh, an unread message and then there's a little power button here to tell you that the power to the unit is on. Okay let's zoom out a little bit and we'll get to the screen here and we'll start talking about what each one of the programs does. Okay so touch sensitive screen um, the first icon we'll look at here is the log off key that works the same as pressing this blue button. It'll just log you out of the system. Um, VRS scan, uh, that is driver tech scanning. The software is installed, but we haven't gone that direction as far as hardware for scanning. The library, driver tech library, um, we can send printed information and videos into the library to access it. You're just going to touch on it. It's going to bring up uh, six pages of, of information. On the left here, you'll see a page icon that indicates that it's a printed document, obviously. Um, it's going to tell you what the document is and a brief explanation. I'm going to go to page two, three, four, five. Once I get to page five, you'll start to see some film strip icons. Those are videos. Okay. If I want to open up one of these documents, this produce handbook, for instance, just touch on that document. There we go. And it'll bring up a viewer. And it's going to show you uh, that document. From here, you can zoom in, zoom out, um, page up, page down, make it a little bigger here. Uh, this is the page up, page down buttons, and the zoom in and zoom out here. So that's the library, pretty simple. I'm going to hit the menu key. Takes us again back to the main menu. <clears throat> Calibration, this icon here. If you push that button, um, it will recalibrate your screen. Takes you through four little crosshairs on the screen and will recalibrate the touch sensitivity of the screen. Uh, the next icon is vehicle statistics. I'm going to go ahead and open up that. Um, this is where you get your MPG for the month and also MPG for the day. There's some other stuff in here, but primarily that's what that is used for is uh, your MPG. You can see your month to date and daily MPG right there. I'm going to go back to the main menu again. Hours of service. Um, here's this is the hours of service icon. Um, take you to your logbook. You've got four tabs across the top. Uh, US 8, which is just basically a summary of what's going on with your logbook. Your logs day by day. Options. This is where you can email your logs, change mode to change to roadside audit or um, personal conveyance. And then this final tab here, carrier. That's just information about pride, our name, address, and our DOT number. Go back to the main menu. Uh, system information right here. All this does is turns your volume up or down right here. 
or turns the backlight up or down, or you can shut the backlight completely off, or you can mute the unit when you're sleeping. Just when you get up in the morning, turn it, touch the screen, turn it back on. Go back to the main menu here. Intel route, this is the turn-by-turn -turn truck route navigation. It's pretty simple. Um, don't trust it 100%. You got to know how to read uh, an atlas. You have to know where you're at. But this is a tool you can use um, to get from point A to point B. It's a Rand McNally product. It is turn-by-turn -turn truck route. Shouldn't take you down any parkways or low bridges, but that is your responsibility to make sure you're looking at road signs because things change out there. Um, one little shortcut I'm going to show you. Our routing that is sent to your truck that's the proprietary routing. That's the route Pride wants you to follow. Um, this unit is not integrated with our dispatching software. So when we send you a load, it doesn't necessarily send it to this driver tech. You have to put in your destinations. To make the unit f follow Pride Transport's routing, choose destination and put in your fuel stops as multi-stop trips. That'll force the unit to follow Pride's routing. Just a little shortcut there for you to help you out. Okay, I'm going to go back to the menu. And messaging. What you'll see is an inbox, an outbox, a send tab, some options. Um, we're on our inbox now. The way this unit works, the newest message is always on the top. It'll give you the time on the right hand side or the date if it was anything previous to today. The envelope icon on the left hand side tells you that that message has not been read. It shows who it came from, the subject of the message, and again the date or the time. You'll see I've got this message highlighted in blue and I'm using my tab buttons to just tab down. To open a message, just touch on it. From here, it's going to show you who it came from, the date, the time, the subject, and then, of course, the body of the message. I could go back to my inbox from here. And if I do that, now you'll see that that message that I opened is no longer bold text, and there's no envelope next to it. If I want to open that up again, I touch on it again. I could delete the message from here. I could play it back from here. I could hit reply and it would send um, this same message right back to the person that sent it to me. Uh, and I, there's a place here where I can type in what I want to as a reply. It'll send that message when I hit send. Send that message right back to the person that sent it to me. Okay, that pretty much takes care of the, outbo or the inbox. This thing will hold 100 messages. Like I said, newest message always on top. Um, it's auto delete, so once you get over a hundred messages, it will start to delete your oldest ones. But keep in mind, newest message always on top. The outbox is simply a list of messages that I've either responded to or initiated. So if you ever want to see what you've sent um, or what you've responded to, that's where you go. So you go to your outbox. The send tab. The send tab is where you will initiate all of your communication through driver tech. If you need to speak with your fleet manager, you have a question, um, this is where you want to go. And you'll see when I go to the send tab, the default is a free form text message. This is what a free form text message looks like. It defaults to dispatch. Um, that's your dispatcher during the day. It's the night guy at night. It's the weekend dispatcher on the weekend. As long as that says dispatch, you know it's going to operations. 24 hours a day, seven days a week. If I want to just type in a message here, like I said, it's free form. Um, I'm just going to type in a quick message um, to dispatch. And I'm going to hit send. And there you go. It showed that I sent a pizza message to dispatch. The green check mark um, indicates that that message was sent successfully. If I go back to my 
send tab again, you'll see that it's defaulting as a freeform text message. Well, you're saying, what do, what do I do if I want to send a macro? That's what the enter button's for. All of your macros are hidden in this drop-down box right here next to the subject. You can either touch the drop-down there, you can hit the enter button here, or you can hit the enter button here, and all of your macros come up. You just choose the one you want, type in your load number, hit send, and there you go. I just sent an arrive at shipper macro number one um, to my fleet manager or weekend or whatever. So that's how your uh, dispatching works, how your messaging works, um, how the macros work. Let's go on to options. Um, you can send and receive email to anyone, from anyone on earth using this unit. You have to set them up as a contact, however. If I go to manage contacts, it's going to show any contacts that I have set up in my personal contacts. Right now, there aren't any in here. If I wanted to set one up, I would go to add contact, type in their name here, their email address there, hit submit, and it's telling me I need to put in a contact name. Um, but that would add that contact to my contacts. If I then wanted to send someone an email, I go to my send tab because again I'm sending a message. Just like all of the macros are hidden in the drop down box next to the subject, all of your contacts are in the drop down box next to the to box. So click on that top box and it'll bring up all of your contacts. I don't have any in there right now, but if I did, it would just list them down. I would select who I wanted to send an email to, and then I'd go ahead and send it. All right, so I'm going to go back to the main menu now. Click on the menu button. Um, you can see all of my icons here. Talk about this stuff on the bottom. This is just a keyboard button. Okay, it toggles your keyboard on and off. This number right down here is Utah time. Keep in mind, everything at Pride is done in military time. And this time right here is what your logbook is going off of. This time is always going to be Mountain Standard Time. This indicates that I have some type of error message going on. This icon right here, little cell phone, um, will tell you how the unit is communicating. This tells me that uh, messaging and vehicle statistics are active. This tells me uh, my hours of service status. Right now I'm green, so that means I could... Right now I'm green, that means I could go. And I have to take a break within eight hours. And here, again, is just a menu button that will bring up this main menu. So really quick, log off, scan, you won't use that. Library, that's where the printed information and videos are stored. Calibration, if you need to uh, recalibrate your screen because the touch sensitivity is off, you're going to touch on that and follow the prompts. This shows you your MPG, both for the day and for the month. Of course, this is where your logbook's at. System information, all that does is turn the light and sound up or down on the unit. Inteleroute, that's your turn-by-turn -turn truck route navigation. And mail, that's where all of your dispatch information is going to come into, where you're going to initiate freeform and uh, freeform messages and macro.